Hi guys, my name is Ingrid Clay from ISC Wellness, and I'm here to do a 10 minute arm workout for LiveStrong.com. So let's go ahead and get it started. We have a 10 minute workout. Each workout is for a minute. So you got a total of 10 moves for one minute each. I'm gonna be using dumbbells for this workout. I recommend eight to 20 pounds, depending on where you are in your fitness journey. All right, let's get it started. So our first move, we're gonna be starting in bicep curls right into reverse shoulder press. So you want your feet shoulder width apart, knees soft, core tight, shoulders back. Elbows stay in and you come straight up in that reverse shoulder press. Nice and controlled, breathing in on the work. You always wanna tighten the core when you bring that weight up. Always keep the elbows in, nice and controlled. Tighten the core when you curl up, as well as press up, exhale. Nice and controlled. This is a perfect exercise. We warm up the whole arm this way. So you hit your biceps here. On the lift, you hit your triceps, but also the front part of your shoulder, which is the neglected area. Nice and controlled, guys. You got about two more here, and then we're gonna switch it up. And one more, shake it out for a second. We're gonna keep the elbows in, take it into a hammer curl, and then straight up into neutral grip shoulder press. Let's do it. Don't forget the core here. Always wanna engage your core. I always say, think belly button to spine. You wanna make sure that you keep those elbows in. Don't forget about the core here. Nice and controlled. A lot of times we swing the weights coming down, but you wanna control those weights on the way up and control those weights on the way down. We lift on the push, we lift on the pull. Okay, so we got about three more here. And then we're gonna switch it up. One more, and then we shake it out for a second. We're gonna take it into a double overhead tricep extension, and then we come up, and then elbows out into military shoulder press. So we get to hit those triceps twice, as well as our shoulders. Nice and controlled here. The core stays tight, and try to avoid resting the chin on your chest. You wanna keep that chin up. And don't forget to breathe. <laughs> nice. We're gonna stay with the triceps next and give the shoulders a break. We got about three more here. And then we're gonna move to some kickbacks, but we're gonna add a little twist. Last one. Woo, shake out those shoulders. And then we're gonna bend it over, bring our elbows up, arch your lower back, chest is up. We're gonna take it back into a kickback Twist the palms up, twist them down, and then slowly bring it right back in. This is a good one. So you're gonna hold that out, twist, and then bring it back in nice and controlled. Guys, if your weight's on the heavier side, you can alternate this. Nice and controlled, take your time. You don't wanna swing those weights. You wanna be able to control your weights. If you gotta drop down to lighter weights for that control, drop down. Almost there. We get about two more here. And then we're gonna stay on the triceps for one more. One more minute, you can shake that out. And we're gonna stay in this same position. You're gonna drop both arms straight, and then you're gonna tighten your core, and then you're gonna lift both arms up, hold for two seconds, and then slowly bring those arms back down. So you wanna be nice and controlled, really avoid swinging the weight here.
like your skin. <laughs> nice. We got two more here. And then we're gonna switch it up and go back to those biceps and burn them out. Last one and shake it out. So we're gonna go into those biceps, but this time we're gonna hold them at a 90 degree angle here. And we're gonna spend 30 seconds all the way up and then we come halfway down. Nice and controlled here again. Again, if your weight's on the heavier side, you can always alternate this if you need to alternate. Don't forget about your core, tighten the core up, belly button is down. Do two more here, and then we're gonna go back and hold it at that 90 degree angle, hold it, and then we take it all the way down and then bring it back up halfway. Nice and controlled, 30 more seconds here. Breathe. We're gonna switch it up after this one, shake it out, and we're gonna come across the chest, alternating across the chest hammer curl. Again, keep the knees soft, tight core, shoulders back, keep that elbow in. No need to rush here, take your time. And I always say quality over quantity. You know, it's better to do 10 perfect than try to do 20 and it's lacking. Thanks, guys. Let's try to hit two more on each side here. And then we shake it out. Shake it out. Bring it back to the shoulders one last time, and we're gonna hit that lateral raise or side raise. Nice and controlled. So there's a slight bend to the elbow here, and give that hold here. Give that two second pause up here. Try not to swing those weights. You control those weights on the way up. You control those weights on the way down. The core is super tight again, and breathe. We're almost at the end here. <laughs> Nice and controlled. We're gonna do about three more of these and then we move to the ground to finish up. You're almost there, shake it out. So we're gonna move to the ground and we're gonna finish up with our triceps, but also engage our biceps, our shoulders and our core. So you're gonna hit the knees here and hold the top of your push-up, but then walk the hands out. You drop the forearms to the ground and you pop it back up. Nice and controlled here. If this is a little much for you, you can always pop them up one at a time, but make sure to keep the core engaged the whole time. You only got 30 seconds here, you're almost there. Give me two more, let's do two more. That's one, that's two, and we're gonna finish it off. We're gonna move the palms back in and we drop it down into a tricep push-up. You can always go on your knees here, but you wanna take it up a notch, bring it up on your toes, you can always take it up a notch. Guys, we're almost there. You're at the end, this is where you're tired. Push through here. Almost there. One more, one more. And shake it out. Great job, guys. Great job. You can stack this with any of the other 10 minute workouts for a full body workout. And you can always take this up a notch by increasing the weights. Great job. See you next time. You want more workouts? Subscribe to Live Strong right now.